The Stanley Cup playoffs are in full swing, and we're down to the two finals between the Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference Finals. I already made a video on the Eastern Conference Finals and my prediction who I think is going to win between the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers. Go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one, it's nice and short. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts on who I think is going to win in the Western Conference Final between the Dallas Stars and the Edmonton Oilers. The Edmonton Oilers are a very good offensive team led by Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl and Evan Bouchard. The Edmonton Oilers have a very high scoring offense led by Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl and Evan Bouchard. Most people know the Oilers for playing a pretty lax defensive style, but they have been known at times to really shut it down like they did in the final 3 minutes of Game 7 against Vancouver last series. The Dallas Stars are a really tough opponent for the Edmonton Oilers. They play very good defensively and have a great goaltender in Jake Ottinger. For Edmonton to win this series, they're really going to need their depth to stand up and really help the Stars out because that's something that's been lacking at other times throughout the year and in the playoffs. Let's go ahead and look at Edmonton's stat leaders through the playoffs so far. So far, through 14 games, Leon Draisaitl leads the team with 25 points with 9 goals and 16 assists. Carr McDavid is not far behind him with 3 goals and 20 assists, good for 23 points. Surprisingly though, the leading goal scorer on the team isn't either one of them, and it's actually Zach Hyman who leads the team with 12 goals this year. I also want to go ahead and give Evan Bouchard a shout out here. Through the first 13 games of the playoffs, which was the first two rounds, he had 20 points, which is the most points ever by a defenseman through the first two rounds of the playoffs, which is really incredible considering some of the great Hall of Famers we've seen in the playoffs. Now let's go ahead and look at their goaltending, which is where one of the major issues with the team is. If we go ahead and look at their goaltending, Stuart Skinner has played 12 games, has 8 wins, 4 losses, a 265 goals against average, and an 890 save percentage. I will give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he has looked much better since he lost his net to Calvin Pickard and then eventually came back in Game 7 against the Vancouver Canucks. Calvin Pickard stepped in and played pretty solid hockey with a 221 goals against average and a 915 save percentage against the Vancouver Canucks. But now we're two games into the Western Conference Final, the series is tied 1-1, and then we've seen them go back to Stuart Skinner, who's played very solid for them through the first two games of the series. Now that I've done a deep cover of the Edmonton Oilers, let's go ahead and switch over to the Dallas Stars. The Dallas Stars are a really tough team to play against. They play really physical, but also play a very good style of hockey. They may not have the high offensive firepower that the Edmonton Oilers have in Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid. Where they do make up for it is in their team depth and the good mix of old veterans and very young players that have all stepped up and were really helping the team out this year. When we go ahead and look at their stats here, we see that their team is actually led by a defenseman, Miro Heiskanen, with 14 points, good for 5 goals and 9 assists. And just below him we see Jason Robertson with 3 goals and 10 assists. The team leading goals though actually goes to Wyatt Johnson who has 7 goals through 15 games played so far. If you look under those top 3 point scorers, we see Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, and Evgeny Dadanov. And this is my point where I was talking about where they have a very good mix of veterans and young talent, and that's something that every team really needs, especially when it comes to this time in the playoffs. One major upgrade that they do have in the Edmonton Oilers is their quality goaltending that they've gotten so far. Jake Ottinger has played 15 games with 9 wins, 6 losses, has a 204 goals against average, and a 922 save percentage. So far, through the first two rounds of the playoffs, Jake Ottinger blows all of the Edmonton goaltending out of the water. He might not have been that great in the regular season, but he's been phenomenal in these playoffs, and that's something that's very much needed for this Dallas team to go far. When I compare both teams and look at all their stats to the first two rounds and a little bit into this series, I think I'm going to have to go with the Dallas Stars in six games over the Edmonton Oilers. I know that Edmonton has a lot of high-scoring offense, but what they don't have is great goaltending, and I think that's something that's really going to bite them here. I think Jake Andre is going to stand on his head as this series goes on, keeps the Dallas Stars in the games, and then they're eventually going to be able to overtake the Edmonton Oilers and just completely shut the rest of the series down. I could be completely wrong in my prediction though, and I probably am, so I want to know your prediction in the comments below, and while you're down there, please drop a like and subscribe because it really helps me grow, and I promise that I'll give you quality short videos every day that keeps you up to date on the hockey news. Thank you so much for watching.